I haven't been doing so well lately. I've been living by myself for the last three weeks. I keep getting stupid adverts for anime games I'm never gonna play. Uh, I just turned 25 and I can now call myself in all honesty the Barnyard Champion. I don't even know where to begin with this one. This was gonna be like a fifth of a different video about a week ago. Um, then I thought it'd be fun to do like a 2010s gaming YouTuber bro kind of stuff uh, video on it. And now, let me tell you about my experience with Barnyard for Wii. This story begins last Saturday. I had just gotten out of an overnight hospital stay because I've also been sick for this last month. And I wanted to record some footage for an upcoming video. So while my body was full of painkillers and steroids, I decided to see what Barnyard was all about. Expecting no more than a silly minigame collection that I could rag on for three minutes. It wasn't a simple minigame collection though. Should I give some background info on Barnyard before I talk about this? Like. I think that's something real YouTubers do, right? It was released in like 2006 by Nickelodeon. It was at like the height of all the talking animals do funny human stuff like craze of the mid 2000s. I, I remember watching it in the theaters. It, I, it was one of my favorite movies as a kid. It was directed by the guy who did Kung Pao Enter the Fist and Jimmy Neutron. I, that, that's all you're getting. It's Barnyard. Hi. I'm Steve Odekirk, and I'd like to welcome you to our very first Thumb Theater presentation. Anyway, something you should know about me is that I have a condition called Stupid Dumb Dumb Moron Disease, which means that if I decide I'm gonna do something for a video, I have to do it. And when I discovered that the video game tie-in for Barnyard had more depth than I expected in a medicated stupor, I had the brilliant idea to commit myself to finishing this entire game in three days. But what is this depth you're talking about, Ovendal, I hear you ask? Well, I'd be more than happy to explain. Barnyard the video game for Nintendo Wii has an open world similar to old Rockstar games. The more story missions you complete, the more of the map you unlock. Uh. It reminds me most of like Bully if it was made for kids. It even has a bike you can do six stunts on. And I mean, <laughs> you even commit Grand Theft Auto and run from the cops. It's also got like a day and night cycle and for some reason has weekdays. The cycle itself kind of makes sense due to the plot of Barnyard, but um, it still impressed me. I guess. It has a bunch of crafting resources that you need for certain missions, or you can sell, or you can craft together to make food for money. It also has a bunch of crafting recipes and like secrets and stuff. It's basically the predecessor to Tears of the Kingdom, except it has less fetch quests. You have a sort of home base that you constantly add to and um, gain extra items for and add to. It. it it's weird. So what's the story? What, what do you do in the game? This is a question that seems pretty simple to answer, but again, has a lot more depth than you'd expect. Well, the game opens with a character creation menu, preceded by a sex joke. Uh, just be gentle with me, Otis. It's my first time. You get to choose one of eight cows, four girls and four trans men. I named mine Kai. The tutorial teaches you pretty much everything you need to know about its main gameplay. You do missions to earn money, to spend at the shop, where you buy items for the barn nightclub. You also do missions to rank up your gamer score and be known as the Barnyard Champion. There's an in-game leaderboard, you start at the, the very bottom, and you want to overtake Otis, you know? Its controls are pretty standard for Wii shovelware. You know, you, you move the camera with the Wii stick, um, it's got very liberal use of waggling. The only thing that it really doesn't explain very well is the way its menus work. You have to kind of tilt the Wii remote. Oh, hang on, actually, fucking. You kind of have to like tilt the Wii remote from side to side to like move the menus. I thought it was more of a swiping motion and it caused a lot of frustration for the first four hours of me playing this game. The last thing this tutorial teaches you is how to squirt. 
a skill in life I only wish I'd learned earlier. This game is kind of obsessed with squirting milk from your udders. It's one of the main mechanics of the game, and it really doesn't let you forget it. Every mission that requires it begins with a cutscene of your cow putting on sunglasses, followed by a poorly covered instrumental of Bad to the Bone playing constantly while the mission is going on. Can you see why my codeine adult brain became obsessed with this game yet? Oh, milk me! After the tutorial, you're given Given free reign to do missions, collect money and resources, and hang out with your favourite barnyard characters. The story mode is split into 10 chapters, but they mean absolutely nothing. There are some chapters that take hours to complete, while others take literal minutes. It's kind of just going off of vague story beats from the movie but they're so weirdly paced I didn't realise this until about two thirds of the way through the game. Until then I thought this was a prequel, uh, and I spent way too much time thinking about this and writing down theories to not explain it here. I'm no map hat, but I, I need to talk about this. So the first thing that made me think this was a prequel was the fact that the barn itself is not stocked out whatsoever when you first start. It's your job to put this stuff into the barn and turn it into the party paradise you see in the movie. And I was like, oh, awesome, an origin story. I can get down with that. But then it goes and shows Otis knowing Daisy from like the very beginning of this game, which fellow barn heads will know is not how the movie pans out. There's a whole chapter for like this dog's 13th birthday. And I'm like, oh, that was also in the movie, but it was like a one-off joke, but we're preparing for it. So is, is this a prequel? But, but Otis still knows Daisy and Daisy isn't in that point at that point in the movie. So we're, I think we're dealing with an alternate timeline here. And again, I was like five hours through the game and Ben hadn't died. The smoking gun for this was the fact that the farmer in the game is vegetarian. In the movie, he's a vegan. We are definitely dealing with alternate timeline stuff here. And I think our protagonist is the shift. But then Ben dies and the story of the movie just kind of starts running its course again, except this time there's an extra cow who is really important, but is powerless to change the course of history. It's kind of poetic if you think about it for as long as I have. It was around this time in the story that I kind of realized this game might be doing things to me because I don't usually act this way about children's licensed games. I know this is nothing compared to how some animation YouTubers treat Bluey, but I'm different. I'm, I'm better than that. I've had sex on a semi-regular basis, and I only cry half the time afterwards. Anyway, after Ben dies, the very next mission is to collect 10 flowers and put them on his grave, which I thought was a really funny thing to put in a kid's game like this. I just realized I actually haven't talked about what you do in this game, other than run around and collect stuff. Um, so let me talk to you about the things you do. There are four types of mission in Barnyard. You've got fetch quest, mini game. These involve such fun activities as chicken fling, mud jumpers, and gaslighting. Races with the Jersey cows and square. The difficulty is usually pretty standard for a children's game. I, I didn't really struggle with many parts. And then you'll have something like pool where the only way I won against the stupidly tough AI was it messing up on the second shot and accidentally potting the eight ball. The order in which these are presented to you is also really weird. Um, instead of like spreading out the new mini games throughout the whole game, it usually front loads a lot of the unique ones and only does them once or twice. Meanwhile, it repeats like one or two specific mini games constantly. I'm not joking. The last third of this game is basically bike slash car races and go for golf. Actually, let me tell you about go for golf because this mini game has been the bane of my existence for the last three days. So how do you play go for golf? Well, let me show you. So first of all, you I don't even know the why your and character and needs to go you the whole way I've just worked a full shift. I'm really tired, but this is the only day I could record this video. And my voice is going... I don't know why I beat this game.
it's like 11 hours of my life that I'm not going to get back. Instead, I'm the barnyard champion. So, what have I learned from my time with Barnyard for Wii? I should probably get back on medication. <laughs>